right, y'all know I like a good walking trail. I'm out here just checking it out real quick. Get y'all a quick little video. It's been a minute. Came up to South Carolina for a little while and I'm gonna head back to school. Yes, I'm gonna go back to school again. I'm gonna head back to full cell. I'm gonna work on some marketing. But yeah, I'll be heading back in a month. I'm excited. So we're gonna go check out Fort Dorchester. We see right here behind me. We're gonna go see what it was used for, what war, I'm guessing Revolutionary War, but we're gonna go and look inside and see what they have in there and uh, just go explore like we normally do. So let's go check it out. So that we're inside of this area, inside of Fort Dorchester. It was used during, during the Revolutionary War. This area was a stored or storing location for gunpowder. Since it's next to the Ashley River here in South Carolina, it would be easy for the troops to be able to move gunpowder onto the river and take them to wherever they need to go throughout the state or anywhere else. So this location was used to store gunpowder. They built the walls with seashells with a lot of when they when they did that back in the day and uh yeah there's not really much left here but the walls whatever this may be in the center but i'm guessing they didn't really have much here you just had your guards or whoever it may be and they had their what we would call an armory now that was their armory back then this is where they would store that stuff and it's interesting notice Ashley River right down here the fort right here so it's not even like 100 feet to the water from the fort so easy transportation easy way to get that gunpowder from here to there and get it to wherever they needed it to go during the uh, Revolutionary War so if you notice I'm outside the walls here in between the river and the fort, you can see how the walls here, are, they got tons of seashells in it and how that's combined and added, which was really cool with the way that they were able to structure stuff back at that time. Right behind me, if y'all could see, this is the Ashley River. This is, like I've said before, this is the area of the hub, the nice little area that these boats would come through, collect whatever gunpowder or whoever it was that was going to the next place. This would be the major hub here. This plot of land that you see me standing on used to be a house here, of course, that uh, wealthy people during the time lived in this house, whether it be two or three stories up high. Someone from Georgia, South Carolina, or whatever it was, wealthy that lived here during that time frame. But this is what's left over, and I'm sure that they've probably went through a lot of this stuff and found a lot of artifacts and things from back in the day. So looking at the greenery behind me, all the way out to the building out there, this area out here used to be like a huge marketplace, like we would have a modern day flea market now, but they would sell everything from livestock to unfortunately slaves back in the day, you know, bad history. But that's where all that stuff would happen at. A lot of that stuff would happen in this area right out here, this uh, big open green area. So if you guys look behind me, this is what's left of a church that was built up here for the uh, pilgrims at a time. Uh, a lot of them that were fleeing prosecution from the British back in the day. Uh, scattered throughout the yard or the grass area out here is uh, some grave sites and other stuff that has uh, different markings of whoever was buried out here. But yeah, what is left is just this little piece of what's left of the uh, church that was out here so let's go inside and kind of look around a little bit because it's all that's left is the little tower
Apologize for not being able to get y'all as many videos as I have in the past. It's just been kind of busy with the uh, transitioning around from place to place. And uh, coming back to Florida, we're going to get even more in depth with videos. I should have plenty of time to get more stuff and get involved. But I'll try to do as much as I can while I'm here in South Carolina. Go and check out some of the really cool places and hopefully get y'all some entertaining videos while I'm at it. Right, well, I think that's it for this quick little video. Hopefully y'all had a really good time and uh, be on the lookout for the next one that I get into here soon. And hopefully y'all share these videos with your friends and family. If you haven't yet, hit the like button, subscribe to follow along with every little video that I do. But until then, thank y'all for riding along. Love y'all. Peace.